This is a project for programmable computing from Fabio Guzman and Lucia Rabal. As you can see, here we have an FPGA where we have downloaded the program for the floating point multiplier operation. There are three main ways to have an input in this FPGA. The first one is the reset button, which will clear up the variables and will send to the idle state the FPGA. After that, we have here some switches where we use two 8-bit registers to introduce the addresses where we, have, where we have the numbers that we are going to be multiplying during these examples. As we can see, we have here some other push buttons that are used to, to obtain the multiplier, the multiplicand, and the result. We are going to name position A, position B, and their product. So, in, number, in point number A, we have the number minus 14.5. What, what you can see in the display is the hexadecimal version of this number. Now, in point number B, we have 1.7 times 10 to the minus 22. This gives us a result of minus 2.46 to times 10 to the 23rd. So, we know the result, it's a correct result because we have the ready buttons in the down part enabled and we've seen the answer over there in hexadecimal system. Now, if we move the register, we are going to have an operation where A is 2.5 times 10 to the 20 and B it's the same 1.7 times 10 to the 22. If we multiply these two numbers, we have an over, overflow number, which means we have a number that exceeds the number of bytes that the register can admit. How do we know it? Well, over here, instead of having a ready signal, we have an overflow signal, which is the one led in the bottom that it's in high, in high state. Finally, if we change the address, and we configure a multiplication times zero, the result must be zero. And, as we can see, the result is zero. Thank you very much for your attention.